Hello friends and welcome back to the dork side. I'm the dork in the road and we are about to test ride Ducati Scrambler and we're going to do it off road in the hills here in beautiful Plain Washington at the Turretech rally. I'm the dork in the road and I want to be your internet riding buddy so please consider subscribing. Stoked to actually get an off road test ride on the Ducati Scrambler, which I think is a bike a lot of people don't actually consider as a very off-roady type bike. Thanks to Ducati USA for having this demo set up. And I'm also gonna test ride the Multistrada, so keep an eye out for that video coming out very soon. So um, the first thing you notice is the seat height, very easy to get on and get your feet down. You know, I'm not quite flat-footed, but just heels slightly elevated. That is very, as they say, confidence inspiring <clears throat> by the shirt. Simplistic display, as you can see, which kind of classic, classic looks. Love the round headlight. I love the aesthetic of this bike. All right, I'm on the blue one today. So you can see, good looking. Got the guard, uh, rubber on the foot pegs. The seat is, is firm, but wide. I like that you can move back and forth on it. I love the flat seat. That's one of my favorite setups, just because you can move yourself around on a long ride, you know, and get different pressure points and stuff. Let's see, I bet this thing sounds awesome, yeah. So you got your warning lights around, speedometer, uh, odometer obviously gear indicator which i like looks like we got half a tank of gas this should be like a 20 minute ride some good gravel so it should be fun all right it's an enduro mode which means some traction control but in off-road traction control on the back and no abs on the rear oh it feels stiff which is probably bodes well for off-roading but uh oh yeah it's a little vibrating let's see can you stand you can the bars are high enough to stand comfortably yeah that clutch lever is in a weird spot that's going to take me the whole ride to get used to it's very far out even two fingering it okay uh not easy to get not easy to get your foot under the clutch level lever wearing enduro boots good to know so this has pirelli scorpions on it which are the same tires that were on my uh both my norton and my tenere so uh they're really good on the road and interesting off-road but if, on this light gravel without much mud or anything they're probably gonna be fine i actually like the traction from for 80 percent of what i do street ride is smooth uh you know you're getting wind because you're in the wind because it is a scrambler there's no windscreen here but sometimes naked wind is actually better than uh buffeting off of a windscreen in my opinion they said this is going to be a pretty mellow ride because they've had a bunch of riders come in the other direction and stuff so we'll get a chance to kind of test it off-road and, and play with it so on the road pretty smooth i think it's a stiffer suspension it's an off-road focused suspension so you feel the little bumps which I actually like because it means when I hit big bumps, uh, it'll do something. So it's not the super soft, streety suspension. I mean, this is not a cheap bike. It's the cheapest Ducati there is, I think, but it's not cheap. Whoa, that brake lever. Okay, I feel like it's set up for standing up. The rear brake is really low, really hard to find. Interesting. This would be a fun bike to cruise around on. I mean, obviously it's got plenty of power. It is not that hard to ride. Um, it's pretty manageable. I forgot my chin strap. I'm faking it so we can go fast to catch up. Now we can rip a little. So maybe I did that on purpose. Maybe I didn't. We'll find out. That clutch is in such a weird spot, dude. All right. Now the fun begins. Oh, yeah. She slides easy. She slides easy. Oh, my God. Does that ass slide easy? Some traction control means very little. Uh, the tires are a big part of it, but wow. She dancing. She dancing. I like it definitely a sit down bike should we try standing okay oh I, these bars are in a great position for standing seriously that really surprises me i was not expecting that so this is pretty loose gravel so we're bouncing around quite a bit but the suspension seems pretty stiff uh seems to be doing the job so i, I definitely was under the impression that these are not really off-road bikes like that's definitely something i've thought in the past having ridden a couple of them and seen what people can do on them i'm starting to realize that was incorrect that was a, that was the wrong impression to have here's some decent little yeah potholes and stuff oh yeah floats right over floats right over so you know it wouldn't be my first choice as an off-road bike but if you really like scramblers and you want to ride one and you want a cool looking bike like this and you want to take it off road some just know that you can you can take it off road oh f that was a big one oh that was a wrist breaker so wearing my sunglasses is bad because i cannot see these holes in the shadows i know we're catching up because i see the dust all right let's try sitting so you definitely the traction control is not aggressive in enduro mode like uh when you when you goose it around a corner uh, i can slide a lot there they are oh yeah big bumps big bumps 
So it, this is, it's not bottoming at all. And I'm hitting some pretty, this is some pretty deep stuff. The camera never shows it, but definitely am. So at least I got to go a little faster because I got to stop and put my chin strap on. Now we're just putting. Now we're old man in it, so whatever. Okay, this is how stiff the suspension is. I don't, I don't like to hit these bumps sitting down, which in my mind is a good thing. And obviously it's adjustable and it's not set up for me, but the point is it's pretty capable. It's pretty rally capable suspension. If you want to ride hard and fast, I, I get the feeling you could hit some whips on this and uh, no big deal. Power delivery is smooth and easy. This is a twin, right? So the tank is a little bulbous. So it's actually the perfect height for me. My knees are right up against the back of it where it starts to bow out. So if I squeeze in, uh, the standing position is actually quite comfortable with my knees bent. Wasn't expecting that. So if you want to go slow, it's good at that too, which you know, honestly is surprising because it's a Ducati. They're not really built for that. It is nice. I will say thank you to Ducati because it is so hard to get an off-road test ride, even this on, uh, on an off-road capable bike. The companies just don't do it. Liability reasons, you don't know what kind of riders you're dealing with. I get it, but it just sucks when your goal is to ride the bike off-road. The brakes feel good. They have a lot of feel. I can't get the front to, to lock up even. Like I said, the seat is nice because you can slide forward and back. So you can get really far forward if you're doing some aggressive sit-down graveling. If you're, but if you're on a long highway ride or whatever, you got lots of room to scoot back and stretch your legs. That's always helpful. There's a lot of room to strap a tail bag or whatever to this. Yeah. Oh, dude, it's so stiff. It's so stiff. I don't know if this bike is confidence inspiring. I feel like it isn't. Um, and not that it's bad, but just like, I feel like you kind of need to know what you're doing. Otherwise, you're getting bounced all over the place and it's uncomfortable. And as a person who rode this bike when I wasn't very skilled, um, my confidence was not inspired. So the seat height is confidence inspiring. It definitely feels like a bike that you can take up whatever abandoned crap you want because it'll be easy to get turned around and you know, move it around, do what you got to do. He leans in the corners well. Yeah, that TC seems pretty smart. Reminds me of my Norton TC. Seems to know what I'm trying to do. I'm actually more comfortable standing up. I'm surprised. That surprises me. I did not think a Scrambler would be a bike I wanted to stand up on, but here I am. Oh, God, I'm muddy. I'm muddy, dude. I got the front end up a little. Rubber foot pegs when they're wet suck. They suck. That would, that would have to go right away. I just slid my foot off. She leans easy, I'll tell you that. It's very flickable off-road. Definitely a light feeling motorcycle. It does not feel like a heavy adventure bike. So that's something you want. Scrambler is worth considering. Definitely a different feeling. Overall impressions of the Scrambler. It is what it looks like. It is a stiff, off-road capable, fun to ride motorcycle i think that stiffness is a big part of it low to the ground easy to get your feet down so again is it a, is it a dual sport no but it's a, it's as capable as many of the adventure bikes that i've ridden i would feel comfortable doing a lot of the stuff the gravel road stuff you know everything up to an ohv trail on a bike like this as i would many of the adventure bikes that i've ridden um, so don't sleep on a bike like this because it doesn't actually look like it's off-road capable It sure feels like you could do a lot with it and it is a fun light bike to throw around sl Power slide through corners stuff like that that I feel like is maybe where it really shines very comfortable fun to ride on the road I can see this is a great around town bike because again just easy to ride So if you want to do adventure riding, but maybe the seat height of an adventure bike intimidates you But you don't want a dual sport with less power you want to be able to cruise on the highway and all that a scrambler like this is not a bad option. I don't think it is. You know, if you're looking for an 80-20, 70-30 bike, something that you can bomb down a gravel road on the way to a campsite, but also be comfortable on the highway and covering up the twisties on the way there, this is a great bike for that. If you want to hit OHV trails and hard enduro and, and the, most, the most technical stuff, if you want to spend most of your time off-road, yeah, I think an adventure bike is probably better. This thing I, tears up the twisties, I bet. It corners awesome. Like, this is, it's fun. Oh, it's the motorcycle bridge. Hell yes. Hell yes. That we are on the local loop, I think. That's awesome, dude. This is a motorcycle only bridge. Motorcycles, snowmobiles, and people walking. Hella cool. That's awesome. I wanna get a picture over here. Well, good, we were hoping to get out and do this. Here we are, doing it. This must be one of the ride groups. That's sweet. 
Yeah, it accelerates a fun way, but not like a scary way. Oh, yeah, it is stiff, dude. It is not a cushy road bike at all. That is like my, my most profound, longest lasting impression of this bike is that it is stiff. And again, yes, suspension adjustable, but that is the impression of the bike that I'm riding right now. Anyway, we're back here. So if you have any questions about my impressions on this Ducati Scrambler or anything like that, comments, do you own one? And I'd love to hear about your experiences, particularly taking it off road, but we're, we're headed back to the Turretech rally here. So thanks again to Ducati for this opportunity. And uh, please, please do not forget so important you don't forget to be excellent to each other. I thank you. Excellent! Yay! It's definitely manageable. Oh, this is how stiff the suspension is. Oh, the suspension is so damn stiff. It's like I'm on a Sibian. If you get that reference, well, that tells me a lot about you. But it also tells you a lot about me, so. And we're home.